The button has been pressed. Hello, happy people. I'm Kat and welcome to Copycat Vlogs. The button... Oh, he's giving me a paw. Oh, that's the best bloopers before I start filming my vlog. Look at this. Look who's making guest appearances I'm filming. This dog is called Ayrton and he's the cutest pup ever. He's one year, six months old and um, it's a friend's dog who I'm just pet sitting. So yeah, let's keep him in. I think it might be entertaining to actually <laughs> record it as he plays with his toy, sometimes loudly. I initially planned to talk about something else, but uh, this week something caught my attention and I decided to react. American actress Meghan Markle, who is also known for marrying Prince Harry, released her podcast with Spotify called Archetypes. And her first guest on the podcast was Serena Williams. I listened to the podcast while I was washing the dishes after work and I was very curious because it's Serena Williams. She is gold, greatest of all time when it comes to tennis in general. She's a very charismatic person who doesn't give interviews too often. So I was very curious to, to hear it. As I listened to it, I thought the topic that they raised is pretty interesting. It's women's rights and I think there can be not enough said about this subject because in the age of inequality this is very important. I was like okay I was just wondering what's the general reaction of people on the internet to that. Honestly yeah maybe I did find the podcast a little dull it could be more thought-provoking more honest because to me it just felt like a little bit of a chit chat on the surface like it wasn't digging deep it was kind of just talking about ambition beautiful word and then where is like the essence of it where is the depth of it but okay you know i said it's her first podcast she still has a few more to make i went on the internet i want to you know know what people say and I was really shocked <laughs> because it was so purely negative. I actually typed Meghan Markle reviews and I was hoping to see like maybe one, two positive supportive posts. There was nothing. Everyone is just hating on Meghan Markle. And by everyone, I mean mainly the media. And here we don't have anything new. I've been following the story a little bit and I just know how newspapers like Daily Mail, they would tell exactly the same story where Kate did one thing and she was goddess, she was great, she was a Shira, and Megan did exactly the same thing and she's evil, she's manipulative, she calculates things. <laughs> My God, that's the cutest thing ever. My point is that when I went and I tried to watch these videos, people are slamming Meghan Markle's podcast. Some people call her woke victim. A lot of people hate her because they think that she destroyed the royal family and for this she seems to be never forgiven. And some people, you know, it's just a personal thing. They think she is a horrible person. They say they don't hate her because she's a person of color. They hate her. You know, because she's a liar, she's manipulative, and so on and so forth. This video is not meant to defend or accuse anyone of anything, but I do think that in general, if a man made a podcast exactly like that, maybe with not so much depth, maybe not really digging deep, maybe talking a lot about himself, I honestly don't think he would have received as much hate as Megan did, and I don't think it's fair. Another thing that I heard people calling her a lot is narcissist. Give diagnosis just like that, where we can say if she's a narcissist or anything else. From what I'm concerned, I don't know her personally. And sure, there are some videos of her, there are some public appearances. It just makes me really mad when people use that term, overuse that term. When it's actually a serious thing to call somebody. Not everyone nowadays is a narcissist. And I'm just like really personally triggered when I hear this word being thrown all over the place. If you have ever been in a situation where you are doing something for the very first time, do you think you're doing it immediately perfectly? I don't think that's ever possible. And I think sometimes you have to go through certain hiccups to make the product at least nice, at least interesting. So I think it's very, very harsh how people judge someone for their first podcast. Just a reminder, I don't think Megan is a professional journalist. We all know she's an actress 
and honestly i have a lot of appreciation for her trying to do something with with the platform that she has and i think that's cool because why do people not judge kardashians you know they have so much money they have so much power what do they do exactly with that nothing they just make money they make profit for themselves and i understand those are different levels you know like kardashians they're not royalty but at the same time it is always cool when somebody tries to talk about things that are important and i think we still live in a world with a lot of white middle-aged middle-class privileged men who think that they can destroy women they can slam them whenever they some something they don't like and i remember i once did a vlog here on feminism and guess how many hateful comments i got it was incredible and i kind of just like enjoyed that because they kept coming every day you know it's like okay you guys give me the engagement that i need so thank you so much for watching thanks for all your negativity in the end it just you know turns into profit for me so thank you <laughs> but um i still think treatment of men and women in the public space is very different i really like the work of jamila jamil the model, activist, also the actress from The Good Place. She's been pointing out how very often media bullies famous women. So for example, Taylor Swift. We see a headline with Taylor Swift numerous times and it always has some negative connotation. Also media machine is being very creative about that and the way they're using it, it's always like, oh, Taylor and her numerous boyfriend, another boyfriend of Taylor. So that makes Taylor seem like she has hundreds of boyfriends, whereas when a man has hundreds of girlfriends, that's not a problem. I mean, I can go on about these double standards, but clearly Meghan Markle has been one of those women who has been negatively portrayed by, by the media throughout the years. And it just seems like whatever she says, it's going to be taken badly. There is never a win. She's always going to say something and people just going to hate her for that and be mean about that. Yes. They're very privileged people who are very rich, <laughs> very well known. And for many people, it's easy to say, okay, it's sorry, but it's the first world problems. This woman is being a hypocrite. Again, I feel like it's not really a fair judgment to make. I feel like she's a mom. She has her worries, rational, irrational. She's entitled to have them. And of course, you can always say, okay, there are kids starving in Africa, there are more serious problems to concentrate on, but this is only diminishing one's person situation that they're going through. It was said that she signed the deal in 2020 and now we have 2022. A lot of uh, commentators, a lot of critics were saying why it took her two years and so much money was spent on this whole project. Just to sum it up, I'm outraged, not because people criticize Meghan Markle per se. I'm outraged because I think there are so many more important problems. There are so many more important issues. And there are really, truly horrible people. But instead, people choose to hate a woman, a woman of color as well, just I have to say that, who is actually making a podcast about women's rights and she tries to talk about it in a way that she can by inviting some of the most exceptional women to her podcast. So, come on. It's, I made a video before where I talked about Greta Thunberg and how, you know, this young activist raising very important subjects about climate change and nobody really listens to her. Instead, some people choose to hate on her, to mock her, to ridicule her. Which is like, what's wrong with this world? When somebody is passionate about something, they already have done more than you have done sitting on your chair criticizing somebody. I'm also cheating, sitting on the chair, by the way. And this dog is just ferocious about um, his toy, which I think is kind of adorable. This was my take on this situation with Meghan Markle. You might disagree with me. You probably will disagree with me. Please write your thoughts in comments. Please write a new diagnosis if I haven't mentioned something for Meghan. I'm sure there will be some haters, but I used to start with... The <laughs> I used to start this vlog by saying hello haters, now I changed it to happy people. Looking at the world and how people react, I'm not sure who overweights, happy people or haters. Me and this lovely golden retriever are for peace. 
and um, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my vlog. My vlog is about lifestyle, entertainment, uh, sports, human rights, and anything interesting. So if you enjoyed this video, if you agree with at least one of my points that I mentioned, please give me a subscribe, like or hate this video. Either way, you're going to support it by doing one of those. Thank you very much. Your copycat.